So, my favorite thing's bed. Can we just do it in bed? Uh, no. It would be really good. That sounds tiresome. <laughs> Let me think about it, I'll sleep on it. <sighs> Hello! Welcome back to What's Safe Word. I'm Am. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today, we're talking about our favorite things. These are a few of our favorite things. This is kind of like Oprah. Sorry. Is that her calling now? Hello, Oprah. <laughs> hey, I'm calling to welcome Sorry, you. Sorry, I can't. I know. No. <laughs> and you get a phone, and you get a phone. Beyonce did what? He just cuts to the chase. Oh, she, she says she wants us to get on with the video already. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> So on YouTube, sometimes people do what's called a favorites video. What do you think a favorites video is? Is, is, is it like Oprah? Like Oprah's favorite things? You know how it, Oprah, like she introduced the pashmina to the world. Bless you. Pashmina. Bless you. Oh, you've got... <laughs> Talk got, to your mom. I bet your mom has a pashmina. <laughs> So I really enjoy watching favorites videos by other people because people get very passionate about the things that they really, really enjoy. But I have not seen one that talked about people's like favorite kink related things. Sure, okay. So today I wanted to talk about some of our favorite kinky related things for this month. If this is something you guys enjoy, maybe we can do it more often, but I just wanted to break down things that we really enjoy because maybe you'll enjoy them too. So to be clear, this isn't like when you made me watch a bunch of YouTubers and watch their shows. No, this no, This no. is what we like yes. and what we enjoy. I would never force you to watch YouTube in another video. No, I, I, I enjoyed it. Oh, okay, good. I would do that again. Good. But this is about what we like. Yes. Okay, cool. So whether it's a show, a podcast, a piece of gear, and none of this is sponsored, by the way. We are not getting paid to talk about any of these things. We're not getting paid to talk about anything. <laughs> no, we're not. YouTube is that, yeah. If this isn't your cup of tea, you clearly don't have the same tea I do because I love this tea. Was that not a good segue? I have no idea. I figured why not start out with one of the things that I spend most of my time doing, and that's listening to podcasts. I love listening to podcasts while I work. It's just something that's kind of mindless. You gain information, you can actually listen to people talking about important topics, but also get things done. And I can't do two things at once, so that's impossible for me. But I still listen to podcasts too. So you just listen to the podcast and do nothing else? <laughs> yes, I just, well driving. And I can't do two things at once. You just said you couldn't do two things at once. <laughs> And the first one I want to talk about today is The Dildorks, and it is my personal favorite podcast of late. It's a podcast run by a trans guy, his name is Bex, and a bisexual girl named Kate. And they talk about kinks, they talk about funny, nerdy things, and they love puns. Oh good, I'm, I'm glad you can get your puns done there. Well, no, no, I can't get it done there. You're punned out. No, 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 that sounds awful. <laughs> because much like a podcast, you can only hear them. Well, you listen to podcasts though too. I and do. Uh, yeah. Usually, uh, Dan Savage's Savage Love is mm. one of my favorites because he's he's so informative and um, he actually helped me out of my last uh, kink dysfunctional relationship. I think he can be problematic for some people sometimes. Like when he was on the show, we had a lot of hate comments, and I think that Dan's a good guy and means well. So next on our favorite things is one of my favorite things is a fist powder. Um, it's a lube. But, uh, wait, wait. So when you, when you introduce your favorite thing, it's a rule. You have to go, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? But you have to get like really close to the camera. So watch, watch. So like, for instance, next on our list is fist powder, one of our favorite lubes. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? And you can't see it, it was out of focus. <laughs> that's, that's literally the joke. I like fist powder a lot because it's, uh, a powder that you add to water and you can make it as thick or as light as you want and it's a lube it's really good for deep uh whole play cool can you see it <laughs> so how do you get your hands on fist powder do you get a five finger discount can you see it <laughs> can you see it am i doing that right <laughs> next up on our list is hair wax. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? And this hair wax is my new favorite hair wax to just put my hair. It's kind of messy and stylish, but the best part, leather, it's leather scented, which is awesome. So you also got me the Harry Bass Bastard Beard Oil. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Am I doing that right? I love this beard oil because it makes it so soft. Here, hold on. Put some drops there. Put it in your hand. Oh my god, that smells so good. 
and it makes my beard so soft. Next on my list, this item is very uh, fetch. They're puppy hoods. <laughs> um, these are some of the new guys from Mr. S most recently. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> They're so cute. They're so colorful. I really like, uh, there's new ear designs. These are the standard ears. They also have new muzzles and colors. So like you can make super colorful, creative little snouts. Bark, bark. Bark, 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 bark. And those are at Mr. S. So again, not sponsored. I just really, really appreciate the, the colorful stuff they can do with it's them. very colorful. It's, it's got your nose. I got your nose. I got your nose. <laughs> so this next item, I, I didn't put a lot of stock in it when I first got the package. I did. No, you didn't. You were so disinterested. So we got this gigantic box in the mail and it was addressed to me, it was sent to my work, which is just kind of strange. And so I sent him a picture and I was like, what is this gigantic box and why is it so heavy? Did you buy something? And it's like, really heavy. No, was, I, didn't, I didn't buy anything. So I, like, I thought it was like maybe like, I didn't know what it was. But now it's my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> I did some investigating, you know, conspiracy theory stuff. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes. Welcome back to another conspiracy theory video. And so I did some investigating because I didn't want to just open a random box that was addressed to me that was gigantic. And I reverse searched the address and I found out this company happens to make all of the props and sets for the show Vikings. So I opened up the box and it was from Lodrock and it was this gigantic stock set. It was the most beautiful pair of stocks I've ever seen. Uh, the wood the wood is so gorgeous and smelled like cedar and it was carved perfectly. Um, I took it off the puppy's hands immediately. You know, I wonder, do you think they sell stock for their company? <laughs> Jesus. But it was really sweet. We didn't buy it, they just liked the show. They literally had a handwritten note on the inside that said, you guys seem like the type that would really enjoy this. We love your show, here you go. So again, not a sponsor, but thank you Lodbrock for sending that. We're really going to enjoy it. So another one of my favorite things and which I wear all the time is a silicone cock ring. And I like them better than like leather or metal because they kind of, they're stretchy and they feel good. This one's from Oxballs. So do you like it enough that you put a ring on it? So this next thing, I haven't even opened yet, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a new favorite thing. <laughs> ah. Ooh, what is that? It's a new leather jacket. Is that leather? I think it's fake leather, but I was gonna say. you know, people can be kinky and have fake leather. There's nothing wrong with that if they're like vegan. So why is this your favorite thing? Well, this happens to go along with something else that we're doing soon. Sorry. This goes along with a costume that I'm putting together for us. Uh, for an oh. upcoming convention that we're going to. So August 17th and 18th, we're actually gonna be in Calgary attending an anime convention called NSFCon. So it's like an adult nerdy convention. And for some reason, they would like to have us as a guest. <laughs> but we're I really, they, really excited. I think they just wanna see my reactions to everything. <laughs> Funny you should say that. What are we? What is this? Well, I'm not gonna Who tell you, you yet, but if you wanna guess what the costumes might be, it's a couple's costume. It looks good on you, actually. Thank it you. It does not smell like leather. We can like, combine our favorite things, and it'll smell just like leather. <laughs> it smells like my grandma's vinyl couch. So, if you're gonna be in Calgary, or in Canada at all, like, you should check out NSFCon. We'll be there, we're gonna do a travel video. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna be judging a cosmic competition, we're gonna teach a puppy play class. We have some panels on, like, censorship online, which is super appropriate. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? When I watch a favorites video on YouTube, I really appreciate when they go through some favorite media related things. So recently we started watching Pose, which was an amazing look at ballroom culture back in the, what was it, 80s, I believe? Late 80s, yeah. And it was about like a lot of gay related media. It has a lot of gay pop culture. It has a lot of gay like social issues that are super important. And it's one of the first shows I've actually seen talk about AIDS and HIV in a very real way that, that humanizes people. And it's an era I lived through, so it's interesting to share that with the puppy now. I mean, it's one of the first shows to have a very heavy trans cast. Yeah. And one of the first shows, especially recently, that the main character is trans. Yeah. It's, just, it's very heartwarming, it's very, very like sweet. Can you give me your best pose? <laughs> anyway, I really love the show, especially because Billy Porter's in it, and I love Kinky Boots. I was literally listening to it all day just because we've been watching Pose recently. And we finished it in how many sittings? In two nights. We did the entire series. 
Along the same lines, some wonderful media. I love reading, well I love Audible, but I do love consuming books. And one book that I listen to and re-listen to all the time is The Ethical Slut, which I think is super appropriate for our audience especially. And you've read The Ethical Slut, right? Yeah. You think I'm an ethical slut? <laughs> so even if you're not into polyamory or multiple relationship, it's really good guide for just one-on-one -on -one relationships as well and how everyone should be. And it gives some great like pointers on just how to navigate any relationship. So read it. If you guys have any other book recommendations, leave those down below too. Like especially if they're audiobooks. I love a good audiobook. Because reading is what? Hard. What? Goodbye. I gotta go. <laughs> Fundamental! I can't wait to see how this turns out. Now you guys know that I love YouTube. Well, I love people on YouTube. You love to watch YouTube. All the, the politics time. behind the scenes, not so much. But I've been really, really passionate on YouTube recently, watching people like Shane Dawson, I've been watching a lot of Jenna Marbles, I've been watching a lot of compilation videos actually. So compilation videos are actually very popular on YouTube. Uh, people will watch a channel and then they'll compile like all the moments that something happens. Um, and, oh, ooh, I wanna show you one. We'll do a reaction video. It's, it, I know you don't like YouTube, but it'll be really cute. This one, this is a compilation video that I think you'll really enjoy. And kind of. Okay, that was great. That was a little bit about yourself. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna strangle you. <laughs> I'm gonna strangle you. See, that's when I was allowed to. So this is um this is a special video that someone made us um that I think you're really gonna enjoy. Oh my god. There's only there's only so many floors. Um I knew I was Ding and we're here. Sheesh. So, oh see like even you do puns. Is my newest thing that I'm kinda getting into, but okay. I've already been exploring it a little bit. Sure. But that'd be the more Final that. Frontier. Final Frontier, Western. There's a joke in there somewhere. I know. I thought you'd be quicker at that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Daddy was smart. But you do puns of things I have no idea about. But even the good puns you don't get. Are there good puns? <laughs> See, I think that's an oxymoron <laughs> right keep there. Keep watching, keep watching. <laughs> do you like the plan? I do. Does it I grow mean, on you? It, hey, don't take my <laughs> You take my jokes all the time. I don't know what you're you talking about. No, no, no. I tell a joke like off camera, <laughs> and then I tell the joke in the episode, and you. Oh. I'll tell the joke in the episode before you get to. <laughs> That's why people think I'm so witty. You write me my jokes. Let's keep watching. No, no, no. Leaf, <laughs> the number of times he steals my jokes. That's horrible. I'm leaving. Leafing. You're the root of the problem. <laughs> you certainly tried to branch off on that. Oh my god. <laughs> Which I think is interesting that you're into to pony play, but you have a puppy. How would that work? Would you say it was a dog and pony show? <laughs> Move the sub to be a lot more picky. Oh my Are god. Is your okay? You said there a was... horse. <laughs> so gonna smack you. So not to throw too much information you. I can think of pilot. <laughs> this is the part in the video where you slowly become more and more like upset by Agitated. each Agitated. No, 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 just, just watch your face, watch your face. Or sling too much information at you. Oh my god. The single column tie. A slingle column tie. So we sit here today abreast uh, talking about <laughs> this is the best way to turn Christopher on when you're trying to have a scene. I'm trying to ignore it. <laughs> Did you say you wanted me to nip that in the butt? No, yes, I would. <laughs> but wait a tit. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm very proud of you for getting that off your chest. Oh, my God. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's a whole new world. A one with fantastic points of view. That's not no even, one that's not to tell us no, no. or where no. to. No. Some even call this, you know, they, they use the term akuna matatas because <laughs> nipple play <laughs> means no worries for the rest of your days in bed when someone's really hardwired to them. So you're saying there's scars involved, almost like the Lion King. Full circle, thank you. <clears throat> I'll be here all week. <laughs> See, they're not even funny the second time around. Okay, no, they are hilarious <laughs> the second time around. Now, I actually forgot I made those jokes and I'm very proud of myself, thank you. Oh my god. I love that the internet exists for things like this. <laughs> is that one of your favorite things? This is one of my favorite things. <laughs> look at how grumpy I look You right look there. so upset. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Why does me being grumpy make you happy? Because it's not a real grumpy, it's a very cute grumpy. 
Just keep watching. This is 21 minutes long. Oh my god, really? We are going to do this? the overhead chest harness. Do you know what that means? That means... Or is that over your head? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is a... Didn't mean to get ahead of myself. <laughs> I don't like where this is heading. Uh, hey, you did it! <laughs> yeah! Point. <laughs> but I love that when you got when you were so excited about yourself, I was just rolling my eyes in the corner like, okay, See? well, you got one. See, I do the puns, he rolls his eyes. As what? much as as much as people think that you hate them, you think I'm funny sometimes. I'm just right? not as quick as you. I don't know what you do. You like immediately take a word and you like rhyme it 27 times with everything out there and then come up with something witty like in two seconds. Because reading is what? Hard. <laughs> Who did this? His name is Spooky Jim, and he is amazing. <laughs> so thank you, Spooky Jim. I'm gonna thank leave. You, Spooky Jim. I'm gonna leave a link to the entire video down below if you want to watch 21 minutes of, of me, me telling jokes. Eyes. <laughs> Here, I'll give you a preview. <sighs> and finally, our last favorite of the day is our safe word, and today our safe word is bad puns, because. We never have bad puns here, so we never need them. You know, 21 minutes worth of puns. <laughs> I do, not good puns. You're, you're right, great puns. puns. Great puns, magical, uh, the best. So those are just a few of our favorite things, but if you have some favorite things that you wanna share with us, just leave them in the comments below. And maybe we'll use it next month if we do this again. If you guys like this, leave a like down below so we know that you want to see more of these kinds of favorite recommendation episodes. So see you guys next time on What's the Safe Word. Bye. Bye. You know, I'm really upset. Because I was waiting for you to say that I was your favorite thing. Oh god. It was a setup. You are my favorite thing. Oh. You're always my favorite thing. You know that puppy.